inside the large rectangle. There to is Bergen Moore. It's a chance for Kilkenny. Brilliantly struck up. And Kilkenny rejoice in Crook Park. Well, if you watch him, Marty, you know, the Galway fullback got caught in front of Richie Power. Richie Power went up and they just parted to Richie Hogan on his own and he stuck it. Watch it then, came in from behind him. Uh, came in behind uh, Fergal Moore. Uh, Kevin Hines then was caught, uh, took it up Henry Shelton and Richie Hogan free and buried it. And, uh, you know, Kilkenny have played much better since the um, change of halves. And uh, certainly, um, you know, we, we saw little mistakes by Galway Tony Ogilvy making a 60-yard run when he could have struck it and they lost the ball. And bit by bit, they're inviting Kilkenny onto them. Kilkenny back in business. A goal after 44 minutes by Richie Hogan. David Collins, Kilkenny now showing a bit of intensity. Stepping aside from the challenge is Damian Hayes. All-Star Hurler 2005. The pass inside was not a good one. Comes to David Burke. 1-1 on the first half. Great stick work. Blocked superbly. He has it again as he was falling down. What a fabulous piece of skill by David Burke. He's now scored a goal and two points. A magnificent goal in the first half, but watch the skill, watch the stick work, the balance. This shouldn't have been a score, but look at that, beautiful. Great score, Marty, well, and that will get the crowd on their feet. Back it comes to Neil Dunahill, sending it up long. Gathered this time by own Larkin. Left half forward on his back, left half back in reality, trying to create chances. Tony O'Regan, Henry Shepherd, knocked away by Kevin Hines. Comes out versus Richie Parr. Hand pass over to Michael Rice. He's already scored a point. He's throwing the slither up into the air, hitting it high, but it's left and wide for Kilkenny's third wide of the game. Well, he'd be disappointed with that, Marty, because um, Aidan Fogarty had made a little run off his marker there, and uh, there was a big space in front of him, and that you'd be expecting Rice to pick him out, but he'd be very disappointed with that effort. Um, every chance that Kilkenny get now is vital to their cause. Tuck out by James Scal. Joe Cannon, Hogan with it. it was Cannon foul, the referee thought so. There's a free end for Galway. Tommy Walsh pushing Andy Smith away, but Canning was fouled here clearly by Brian Hogan. A free in for the men from the West. And a chance for Joe Canning. Yeah, and uh, Brian Hogan picked up a yellow card for that man. That was his third personal foul. I think uh, lucky to get away with the first one and the second one. Picked up a yellow there, and I think the referee is dishing out the yellow cards a bit easier this half. Kevin Hines got one there for you know knocking the snuff foul, but um, I think anything that stops up the play, he's going to be hard on that. Fully concentrated. It's Joe Cat. Takes nothing for granted and puts it over the bar. It's still a very impressive scoreline if you're from Galway. And it's a daunting task, even for a great side. The All-Ireland champions, Leinster champions, Kilkenny, and Galway go forward again. It's Burke being held by Noel Hickey, one of them, two of them. Play continues. Burke is a hard grafter. Scored a fantastic point that will talk about for a long time. Ball inside, it's a poor one to Paul Murphy. In comes Andy Smith, ball breaks free for Cyril Donnelly. Tries to get around, hand passes back outside. There's a flick on, first Damien Hayes, first hand pull, in towards the corner. As Galway retain possession, Canning, lovely stick one. Dodges and dives, then turns, shoots. And is that a score or what? Joe Canning. They may talk to Joe Duffy on the radio, but you have to talk to Joe Canning when it comes to hurling of this quality. Magnificent. Well, beautiful little um, shimmy there, right? And uh, held the ball well as every good forward does. You know, seems to play in slow motion and a beautiful point to finish. Puck out comes down towards Johnny Cole. He's had so much ball. It's hard to imagine. Done really well. Damien Hayes working hard. Brian Cody encouraging from the sideline. So too Anthony Cunningham. Earl Italian coming across to take this. Well, Damien Hayes has been very, very effective today, Martin. You know, sometimes, um, you know, in the past he played a roving role and wasn't that effective, but highly effective, highly effective against Darfian and against Dublin as well. So he's really in great form this season and uh, he's a tonic at Kenny's sides all day. Hard working Brian Hogan. 
getting away from Cyril Donnellan. Ball inside from Richie Hogan. Cut out by Tony O'Gregor. Hand pass, Candy Smith is a poor one. Comes in with a hefty challenge on Hogan, but Hogan from in front of the side and opens the keeper, but Shefflin gets the touch. Henry makes it a goal and four points for him personally, and two goals and six points for Kilkenny. The complexion on the scoreboard is changing. Beautiful well, ball inside. There didn't seem to be any danger there, right? And then the ball was given away and uh, over to Richie Hogan. Um, Tony O'Regan would have been better, maybe just to shepherd him down the line. If he went for the big shoulder, not missed him. And uh, beautiful cross, Shefflin, you know, the old head, uh, the master up high and just knocked it into net. And uh, now 10 points between them. You know, Galveston driving see Martin, but bit by bit, you know, Kilkenny are coming back to this game. David Burke sends it into the centre. Here goes Damien Hayes, off again on his scooter to try and re-establish a better lead. It's Damien Hayes' first point in this Leinster final, and it's now 2.17 to 2.6. Lovely, sweet ball by David Burke. Great vision. Here comes Hayes. Good engine, good yeah, score. Great pace, uh, Martin. Comes down for Richie Power. Rocking hard. Being challenged by Andy Smith, being fouled by the midfielder free in for Kilkenny. Free going to be taken by Henry Shefflin. To steady the ship, to reduce their opponent's lead. Why more? Why more? Why more? And that is over the bar. A goal and five. All the points coming from Fries. Ten points between the teams, 20 minutes to go. I just looked down there, Marky and Damien Hayes has gone back now into a, you know, a standard right corner forward position. Almost full forward now being marked by Noel Hickey, and that's a poor matchup for Kilkenny. Pace-wise, if the ball can go in, if, if Galvin can get a bit of quality ball into him, he'll do wreck inside there. Brian Hogan. Niall Dunham hit a fresh shoulder. First by Richie Potter, then by Richie Hogan. Survived the two Richies to deliver the ball. Hogan again, rock solid. Looked like a frontal charge from Cyril Donnellan. It was. It's a free for the All-Ireland winning captain of last year. Ball inside. Referee wants the whistle to be taken again. Yeah, definitely free there by Cyril Donnellan. Straight into the chest of uh, Brian Hogan. And uh, one have to say that James McGrath is refereeing it very, very well. Marty, he's been he very, very sensible. Yeah. And uh, the play is flowing. And, you know, I suppose he's letting, he's letting the play go on. And uh, Kilkenny normally get the benefit of that because that's their style, but uh, Galway are imposing their own style on Kilkenny today. Free by David Herod, he drops it to the square. TJ Reid goes up, the ball comes loose. It's a scramble, comes back outside to Richie. Saved this time by James Scahill. Richie Hogan got a slight touch on it. And it goes out over the sideline. Sideline ball for Kilkenny. Yeah, Richie Hogan just standing off as a goal, good goal torture does. And uh, Aidan Fogley just unlucky. Just unlucky trying to uh, knock the ball forward with his boot there. And if it had come a bit faster and a bit cleaner, maybe Richie Hogan might have stuck in the back of the net. But um, Galva survived. Michael Rice, sideline cut into the middle. Dunne who tries to get a touch. It's Cohen again. Nipping across is Henry Shefflin. Lovely stick work. And Henry gets his first point from play. And Kilkenny remain very much alive. A great example of forward play there. He had to adjust his stick to, to make sure he wasn't hooked. And uh, another good point from Henry Shefflin. And his influence is growing in the game. Galway changing. They're taking off uh, Connor Cooney. And coming on is uh, number 22. That's uh, Jonathan Glenn. And Glenn immediately in the action. Quick layup. Michael Rice has made an impact, certainly since he was introduced. Great catch. As Kilkenny show their character. Aidan Fogarty at the end of this. Johnny Cohen beaten on this occasion. Fogarty fouled. Free end for Kilkenny. And yeah, that's far better, um, you know, supply. Uh, Michael Rice knocked the ball up there for Fogarty. And we saw in the first half, I know they were under pressure and they didn't have much ball. Um, they were just striking the ball willy-nilly into the uh, into the defence, and Johnny Cohn was picking up 
an amount of uh, free ball, but uh, bit by bit, Kenny are getting back and they're using the ball much better in the second half. Henry Shuffler taking his point. It's a one goal and seven points tally for this man. And Kilkenny edge a little bit closer. Yellow card for Johnny Cole. Brian Cody believes that his team can still come back in this Leinster final. 16 minutes left. And a dramatic day in Croke Park. And no matter where you are in the world, I have no doubt you're enjoying this. This is going to be stern action by the referee, a yellow card for David Collins. Scores a point, gets a yellow card. It's a mixed day for Collins, and when you see that challenge, you'd have to agree with the referee. Well, if I was wrong about it from a Galway point of view, Marty, was the fact that Joe Canning was in possession and there was no need for David Collins to do it, and that's a little breakdown in discipline, and bit by bit, as I said, they're inviting Kilkenny onto them, and uh, that's always a dangerous thing. I know there's just 15 minutes left, and, um, you know, there's eight, eight points in it, but that's a dangerous thing when you're playing Kilkenny. Henry Shepherd dropping it in again, the ball comes loose, and picked up by Johnny Cohen. On far is Andy Smith. A little bit of misunderstanding between himself and his colleague. That happens to be Jonathan Glenn. Over first, Joe Canning in space. Trouble looming for Kilkenny. Canning cuts it between the posts. It's a goal and eight points for Joe Canning. A goal and seven points for Henry Shefflin. There's not just a county battle, there's a personal battle in terms of the scoring stakes. Ball in for his Canning. He had the chance, he took it with a plop. And great vision from Johnny Glynn to pick him out. Ball sent down by Hickey. Plenty of space for Henry Shepherd. In comes Tony Regan to challenge. Fair challenge is the referee. Henry on, the, on his knees. Ball is there loose. Scrappy. And it's Johnny Cohen again. They'll be writing songs about this guy if they win this Leinster title. Cohen to Andy Smith. Smith gives it long. Over for us, Joe Canning, who goal they have given kind of a little bit more of a free roll, taking on Paul Murphy. The 24-year-old is hard to stop. It takes two men to stop him, and even then he wins a free. And Joe Canning is trying to inspire his colleagues to keep up the momentum. Is this going to be their day? Well, you can see bit by bit, um, you know, Joe Canning being left inside with a variety of defenders, Paul Murphy picking him up that time, and, um, you know, no need for Tommy Walsh to come in there and give, a, give the free away, so another little um, chance for Galway to extend their lead. James Regan is on for Galway, and the player that's going off is Earl Italian, who was very good in the opening uh, 25 minutes or so. So possibly tiredness there affecting Earl Italian. Kilkenny are coming, uh, going to bring off, but uh, TJ Reid is going off, and Matthew Root is coming off. And on the field, it's Joe Cap. Steadying the ship. Just when a few leaks were being exposed at the other end, he registers his ninth point. 1-9 for Joe Cannon. 2-19 for Galway. 2-9 Kilkenny. This is Matthew Root, son of Matt Root, who won several All-Ireland medals with Kilkenny. TJ Reid, who scored a wonderful goal against Dublin. Is the player going up? David Collins. Back to Johnny Cohen. Johnny goes long. Paul Murphy comes forward. Survives the first challenge. Gives it long. Dangerous ball. Owen Larkin underneath it. Ball comes free. Pulled on first down. And James Skittle stands his ground and comes away with a slipper and drives it long. Joe Penny. Hefty challenge. Surely that was a foul. He ended up injured himself. Coming away with it with the slitter in the hand of Cyril Donnan. Lays it off inside first James Regan. One back superbly by Jackie Till. Goes long. Tries to get Richie Parr. Comes in just at the right, well, almost the right time. Ball batted down, first Andy Smith. A crossfield ball, but it just didn't work. David Herity comes off his goal line. Gets there ahead of James Regan. Farris, ja uh, Jackie Turr. Jackie goes for distance. Long ball again. Big Tony O'Gregan is behind it. So too is uh, Kevin Hines. Great catch by Tommy Walsh. P was undecided what exactly to do with the ball. Gives it instead for his Richie Power. Richie goes for the score. It has the legs, it has the power, and it has the accuracy. Second point for Richie Power. Nine points between the teams. 
Well, great play up and down the field there, Marty. Uh, you know, both sides. Great credit due to both sides there, right? And um, ball coming eventually to Richie Power, and he stuck it over the bar. But Galway very unlucky there with that cross pass to James Regan. 